Whose Super Saiyan form met more, Goku's or Vegeta's? And I'm talking about when they first transformed. So, as we know, Goku, who was struggling against Frieza, the Kaioken didn't work, the Kamehameha didn't work, even the Spirit Bomb failed. He had no other option, but when Krillin came and sacrificed his life like Christ, that is when Goku achieved the form greater than anything he could have done by himself, and that is when he achieved Super Saiyan. And when Goku achieved this form, seeing his best friend Krillin die, we all know the story, it was too much for Goku, he sent him over the edge, all the power just came oozing out, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> here comes the yellow hair, and Goku was the first one to ascend to Super Saiyan. And in this form, he became more ruthless, more aggressive, and also the whole impact of it, Krillin dying, Goku was out of maneuvers, and then all of a sudden the thunder and whatnot coming down as a manifestation of what Goku was feeling, and then him just exploding and letting the energy expel from his body and becoming Super Saiyan was one of the greatest moments in DBZ history. Now, let's fast forward to the Prince of All Saiyans. Now, when it comes to the Prince of All Saiyans, as we know him, Vegeta, when he first transformed Vegeta, it was that pent up frustration. He couldn't take it. First seeing Goku come back from Planet Yard Rat, seeing him go Super Saiyan, then seeing Trunks come in and was a Super Saiyan as well. Vegeta couldn't take it, so Vegeta went into the solitude of space. He went out there to train to become a Super Saiyan, but all of his efforts were in vain. It just wasn't working. And then one day Vegeta had enough. One day Vegeta got frustrated. He got fed up, and then he unleashed his inner rage, his inner fury. And then he became a Super Saiyan on an unknown planet where his life was on the line, where he was destitute, where he had to get off by himself and by his own means. And basically, the medias around him was a sign of what he was feeling inside. And then Vegeta's frustration and anger made him become a Super Saiyan. But then, today's question is, who had the better transformation? And as much as I'm not a fan of Goku, I give him credit where it's due. And I would say that the main character, Kakarot, AKA Goku had the better Super Saiyan transformation because everything around his circumstances were definitely were definitely uh, more emotional. You felt it. You was like, what else is Goku gonna do? He, the KO Ken didn't work. The spare bomb didn't work, like I said earlier. He was out of moves. So then all of a sudden, when he got angry and you see the thunder going around, you see Namek going black in the sky, and then Goku unleashed that form, Boom, game, set, and match. Goku, he had the better Super Saiyan transformation than Vegeta. Vegeta fans, don't hate me. <laughs>